Yo, 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 yo. Coming at ya. Two dudes and a gun. Big D. Uh, yeah, turkey hunt number two. We got one before uh, before this uh, hunt. It was two dudes and a gun, uh, uh, zero, gobblers one. And uh, now it's one to one. One to one. Uh, Corey shot it. I killed it. And uh, special guest T Money got a shot off uh, at one two uh, as well. And uh, yeah, it was fun. Again, um, you know, I look at this map of Washington and this Colville Reservation, Colville National Forest. You know, look how big that is in our state. It's such, you know, from people on the west side, that's where everybody lives here around the Puget Sound. But, and then Spokane's a big city too. But, you know, all of this through here is small, got kind of a couple bigger towns. But, and this area is very smart. I'll tell you what, absolutely gorgeous. And the secret's out. Absolutely gorgeous area through here. Um, yeah. So that's where we went again. And it was epic. Um, didn't do as good uh, with the camel work as the first time, the first turkey hunt. Um, we do have some patchwork uh, iPhone camera stuff that we're going to add add on and uh, i'm going to get pictures and of the turkey and put all the pictures as well together i'm going to organize all that but this is the follow-up this is the um um the follow-up of spring turkey number two 2021 and um it felt more like it felt more like a hunt uh we weren't running around the whole county trying to figure out where turkeys are we, we weren't running around having no clue what we're doing and uh, even though that really was a scouting trip, number one, we did do some hunting, so we counted it as a hunt. We weren't going over just to scout. We wanted to kill something. Um, so the first one helped us set up for this. So we basically went to Turkey Jim's um, property and hunker down. And uh, the bottom line is we had a plan. We had a plan and we stuck to it. I'm not, this is just hunting one-on-one. So I'm not like uh, come up with some crazy new technique of hunting you have to come up with a plan and stick to it uh we didn't we had a plan and like mike tyson says everybody has a plan to get punched in the face and once we hit that one uh refuge which would be right here which i highly suggest no one ever goes to um little pin oral national uh wildlife refuge that's it right there okay this whole area problem with that is that's where everybody thinks they can go because it's public land. You have to do everything in your power to hunt private land. If you have to pull over the side of the road and walk to someone's house like I did, you do that. And then pay them if you have to. Um, we stumbled on a lifelong hunting ground for turkey, deer, and bear just because I had enough balls, unlike Corey, to get out of the car. So the chance of that happening to other people are pretty slim. We got extremely lucky. Jim, Shelley, we love you. Um, so anyway, uh, so we went to the area. I'm not going to show exactly where uh, Jim's property is, but uh, it is in the Colville area. And uh, this is where the turkey are. There, way back in, I don't know, when we started this whole thing. Uh, February of 2021, when that waiter slash part owner said, well, you got to go to Colville. And uh, we did. We did. And um, we're going to look back on it when we have successful turkey hunting trips and not remember these moments. And so that's one reason I'm, I'm recording this, because it, the first trip sucked. It was brutal. It was a brutal business trip, and it was rough. Still had an epic time, but nothing like nothing like this time. I mean, this time was a flat out hunting trip everything you want it to be um so yeah uh day one which was um friday we left friday left the day early, uh, later than normal friday we uh drove from we drove from everett um we went high we went 90 we, we took 90 and then and Corey drives slow so fucking slow we took, went 90, and then we got to, uh, let's see, somewhere over right here. Let's zoom in. We hit the two. So we went up through here through Cooley City, and um, 
Where's uh, there's good old Chula? Ch Shelly told me like seven times when I was drunk how to pronounce it. I still forgot. Chu, Ch 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 Chula. So I'm gonna have to memorize that. I'm sorry, Shelly. You, you. It was my fault, not you. Um. So, yeah, it's um, it's right in here. That's where we're hunting, right in there. But this whole area here is. Tur I mean, this entire area right through here is where you hunt turkey, okay? And you have to find someone's property. Uh, something I did before uh, this last time. Hi! I'm just starting a video for the follow-up of the two dudes and a gun, but I got the uh, I got the mashed, pot uh, mashed potatoes and thing all ready to go, so I can't wait to have that. It's, I was gonna actually try and get it done before you got home, but it's already sick, so it should be done soon. And uh, we can have a nice um, salad and everything together. How's your day? Awesome. I'll talk to you when I get upstairs, okay? I'll be up in like 10 minutes. Uh, sorry, pause. The wife came home. I had to talk to her. She's priority. She's my amazing wife. So um, we uh, drove over on Friday, and we didn't mess around. Uh, we went right to the place. And literally, we pull in to uh oh i know what i was talking about um i did some prep work so i actually used my on x hunt app and then found who owns property and then i used the white pages app to actually get their information both apps cost money but i actually called people and i uh, was trying last time we were there uh there was property right next to uh jim and shelly and um We'll call it Turkey Gym. I don't want anybody like bothering these people. So Turkey Gym. Um, so uh, we found right where the turkeys were. I found the guy's name, and um, it, funny, funny enough, his name was Guy. And I called him, and I got a hold of him like the day we got back. And he, <laughs> he, he, nice guy, but he's like, yeah, I bought that land to hunt on, so I, I don't, can't really have you hunt there. Plus, I'm coming back in two weeks. Oh, and add on to that, I'm a professional hunting guide. So we're like, I'm thinking, huh, how much we pay him to actually shoot turkeys on his land? But, um, and then um, across the street is where the turkeys were roosting. And uh, we tried to get hold of one guy, and then we got a hold of the second guy when we actually drove there. That was the first thing I wanted to do with Corey. And it was driving him crazy. But I wanted to go across the street and get permission. And they, of course, had relatives hunting that weekend. But he was cool, too. Uh, but that they were definitely turkeys over there. Uh, so, anyways, we we pull into we pull into we pull, pull into the property, and in the field that we're hunting, there are two toms and three hens. And we're like, okay, let's go right to the cabin. Let's get just get our shotguns and go down there. So uh, Corey had this genius idea of putting my um, uh, my decoy my deco decoy is foam. So I cut the little opening on the bottom. We put on Trevor's head. So. Corey's genius idea was for have Trevor army crawl for over a hundred yards up and shoot the turkeys. Trevor's never hunted his life. And that was the plan. I'm like, Oh gosh. So we came up with a plan and then Trevor gets down there and they're all gone. Right. Right. So, um, so then we set up camp and go down there on Friday uh, night. And we have, uh, I probably had one of the most beautiful e evenings sitting down watching the Valley, watching deer, not seeing a single Turkey, but watching deer and just beautiful in my spot. Um, I was in one corner, uh, they were in the middle. Um, so if you're thinking about a square, um, let's see how can I do this fast. So let's say this is Jim's property, these, these rows between Rice and Addy, cause it's actually in here. Uh, so I was like up in this corner, uh, Corey and Trevor were in a blind right in the middle and the turkey were ended up coming from this direction of the field uh, this weekend. And I sat up here and I overlooked the valley. It's not literally here. I'm just giving you an example. And I saw it like literally I counted over 50 deer and incredible. That night they did call in a hen uh, from the woods here. They called in a hen and uh, I didn't see anything on my side. And then we um, went to bed, got up. We didn't party that night, Friday night, because we're, we're about hunting. It's all about hunting at that point. And then Saturday I uh, saw the sunrise over this valley. Valley is just incredible, and uh, Marble Valley, and um, we saw the sunrise. Uh, then all of a sudden, 
I heard a shot. I did hear a shot, and uh, Friday night I heard a shot behind me. So I heard a shot behind me. Remember, I'm just pretending this is his property here. I heard a shot behind me uh, on, on the property that we, I tried to get permission on. That was the guy who actually bought it for hunting. Um, and then that Friday night, and then Saturday, I heard another shot. And I swear it was behind me. That It's weird how in the valley things echo. And when it's just one shot, it gets your attention. You think, I thought it came behind me. Well, it ended up being Trevor got a shot on a turkey. And I didn't know it was Trevor. And then probably an hour later, I heard a shot. And I knew it came from the blind because then I also heard that. And I saw a turkey, which I would have lost a lot of money on because I didn't know they did this, literally fly like a duck uh, almost 200 yards on this field because, you know, I guess they can fly when they are going to get shot. So I just automatically thought, oh, they, um, they, they had a shot and missed it. And, and in hindsight, I, you know, kind of like you're shooting a duck. I could have taken a shot. It's probably, it's not what you want to do with a turkey flying in air. I could have taken a shot, but it was too close to uh, Turkey Jim's house. Like that it was, the shot was going towards, and I, there's no way I was going to do that. Um, so it flew away. And I, I'm just sitting back. I'm like, oh, my gosh, Corey missed it. And uh, all of a sudden, I see them get out of the blind. I'm like, what are they doing? He's like, Woo, come on, dude. And he got a turkey. Now, for the record, because he doesn't know this yet, but I did not get this on film. So I get out of my blind. I walked down there. And I had, my, I had it recorded. And I, when I got there, I had the whole thing recording. And I, and I, and I missed this because and I should have checked my camera's battery when I was walking up but here's the you don't have video proof but here's the honest to god truth of what happened Corey hit this thing from 70 yards he has video of that that's the truth now when he brought it to the taxidermy the taxidermy was like boy this is pristine condition it doesn't have any how'd you kill this and I swear to god what happened and this happens with turkey is that he either he hit it partially and he scared that thing to death. It had like a heart attack because when I went up there, he's flapping around trying to fly. I'm like, dude, it's not dead. And Corey quote, Oh, just, you haven't watched enough Steve Rinelli videos. It does death rolls and it does. Duh, duh, duh. And it does just like a chicken with its head cut off. Everybody knows that you cut, its, it cut off its head. and It runs around the chicken uh, runs around the farm. Um, but this was not dead. So I'm like, dude, it's not dead. So he goes over and puts his foot on his neck and credit to Corey. I didn't realize that's how you finish it. That's one of the ways, better ways of finishing off because you don't want to blow its head off at that point because you might want to get it mounted. So, um, so he's, he steps on the neck and Trevor is my witness for this. This is exactly what happened. And he's just like, Oh, 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 and not like truly step it on to kill it. So he gets it off. It's still flapping. I'm like, dude, this thing's suffering. And I point the camera. I'm so pissed. I point the camera, Corey, do you want me to kill your turkey? And he looked at me kind of like, oh, shit, oh, shit. He was trying to think, should I, I'm going to never live this down. Or I don't want to get too, I don't want to get dirty. It's kind of like the tattoo. You get the tattoo around the around the arm, but not the ouchy part. No tattoo in the ouchy part. That's Corey. So I'm, I, I asked him again. I said, this thing's suffering. Do you want me to kill your turkey? Yes, yes, yes. So I go over and step around for about 30 seconds and it's dead. Um, so officially the two bots, I have to kill both of their animals that they shot, Trevor and Corey officially. Uh, so, but you can't take away the 70 yard shot, which is on video. Trevor has it. It's going to be, it's kind of grainy and it's, you know, we need our video technology needs to improve, but we're just starting this whole process. And it's more about recording memories than having a show. That's kind of a joke. We have a show and who knows, but uh, the bottom line is we, uh, the two dudes and a gun, one gobblers, one, it's one-to-one -one on hunting trips. So I give it, I give credit to Corey for that shot. And, um, and then I was the finisher. They called me in out of the bullpen. Give me the, give me the right arm. Give me the right hander. So actually, I, I, I can go left hand, but not really pitching. I write left handed. So side note. Uh, so yeah, all right. Long story is then, um, then I we, we went up and we went for breakfast to celebrate. Oh gosh, and I have to put this on a video. We sit down. I open my big mouth and I tell the waitress, uh, young gal. 
hey, uh, my buddy got a turkey. And I wasn't looking for free food. I'm just was bragging, right? My buddy got a turkey. And she goes, oh, really? I've had 50 people here this weekend and no one's got a turkey. So his head, which is huge, already tripled inside. It's kind of like the Grinch's heart with it triples inside size. That's what happened to Corey's head. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, that's, oh. That's the worst thing that could have happened. So, of course, he has to tell the whole story about his Magnum 3.5 inch, blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, um, yeah, we, uh, the the group got a turkey, team effort, and that was awesome. Uh, Corey had that miraculous shot. I think he, I don't know if he had his eyes open or closed. Oh, and by the way, he didn't have his glasses on. Now, he, he uses it for close, because he couldn't find his glasses in the morning. So we go and we went back and crashed. And then we went down. I moved to the other side and I, where they were coming, I moved over. Um, and we didn't see any turkeys that night or the next morning. Uh, we had an epic time Saturday night. We actually, since we had the turkey, we, we uh, let loose a little bit, had fun. Um, and yeah, that was it. So uh, it's time to grade the uh, spring turkey hunt uh, number two, 2021. Sea uh, turkeys. Um, we... We saw three toms and a hen. Um, I think, I, uh, man, and when I say sea turkeys, I'm talking like seed that we could possibly kill, not like, oh, we're driving on the road with seeing turkeys. So, um, man, I have to give that a three five um, just because, I don't know, I mean, it's close to being a four if you see three toms. Yeah, I, have to, I mean, I'm going to give that a four. Three toms and a hen, I think that's a four. Um, shot, yes. Um, we uh, got two shots, and um, well, technically we didn't hit either one, but we got two shots. Um, uh, so yeah, that's a tough one. We got two shots in. Um, I think two shots is pretty good. We got a three. Uh, the hunt, the hunt. You know, uh, with all the prep work and you know being in the blinds and uh, you know calling them in and. Oh, and by the way, um, the toms were hanging back. The ones that Corey ended up shooting, they were kind of hanging back. And I was calling the other side. They were B-tailing it to over by to my decoys. And that's one thing Corey was thinking is that if I don't take this long-distance shot, they're going to go right up to Doug, and he's going to shoot him from close range. That's exactly what he said to me. So the whole hunt, uh, the preparation and all that, man, I don't know. I and mean, that's a four. I mean, and then we got her done. We got her done. We got one. We got one, four. I mean, that was the, the kill score. Uh, that was pretty good. A team effort, 100%. That average is 375. That's a that's a good day. That's a good day. Okay, um, let's see. The drive over. Uh, I don't, man, Corey driving so slow uh, was was giving me a heart attack. It's like seven going 16 to 7. He's like he's 80. Um, but, you know, that drive with the scenery and uh, having team money along, the drive, um, the length of the drive sucks. So I can't give it a four. Uh, it's six hours in the car, and and I talk. Uh, I, I'm talking for about five out of the six hours driving. Those too crazy. Uh, the accommodations. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Turkey. Well, you have to understand. It's if you ever seen one of those sheds, uh, like like you see on the side of the road that you can get just like your little tiny mini farm shed. It's basically a big, a 12 foot one of those with two lofts. And um, Corey's little bitch ass couldn't sleep there a second night because he couldn't, I was a little too tired. So he slept in the car. Um, but you know what? We ha we're, we're right on the, the hunting land. We are, the hosts are above a four. Um, but it was rough in it. It was 100% rough in it. It's hard for Corey, Mr. Ford, five-star hotel. Um, it was rough in it. Um, yeah, we had a fire. He got us firewood. Um, I would give that a three. Uh, the food situation, we had, uh, um, I'll tell you what, I know now exactly what to bring and what not to bring. I think the food was about a three. Uh, nothing special there, but it wasn't bad. Um so that is a three point, I'm gonna round uh, to 3.17, 3.17. Uh, okay, the practice. Well, the practice was, um, 
you know, our, our first hunt before was really the practice. Um, so, it, you know, that, that catapult us into success. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if we, if, we t- if we look at that as a scouting trip to practice, uh, and this all this also is what we did before the first hunt. We practiced and we worked hard. Um, so I would say that's uh, man three five. Yeah, we did a good job practicing the research. Um, we did everything possible um, on the research. Follow through, follow through. We had a plan and we stuck to it, aka shooting a turkey. We didn't be like, oh, we don't like this. Let's run to this place. We didn't, oh, this isn't good. Let's run in that place. We had a plan. We stuck to it. Follow through. Four. Uh, close. <laughs> Some of these are stupid. Uh, close. Um, and uh, this this is more how my personal opinion. Uh, close had it been a four. I, I got us all. Uh, we all on the way over. We got three matching turkey shirts. We're so. We're so uh, that that hunter that true hunters hate. Uh, we have th- uh, three matching turkey shirts, and and um, it it was good. Uh, we planned well for that. the The plan for this one was very good. Three eight five. That would be a, um, a three three eight three point eight six. Okay. Um, and then last night we had the last night we partied hard. We passed the bottle. Um, our hosts came up actually and hung out with us. Um, we enjoyed whatever Corey's got these expensive cigars that tasted no, no different than Swisher sweets, but Corey was all proud of them. Um, we passed, we finished off the whiskey bottle and, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that was epic. That was epic. And, uh, did we enjoy it? Uh, even though I had to kill tur- Corey's turkey for him. Um, man, it was, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, oh, okay. So this is a party score. So yeah, I mean, that was epic. That was epic. Um, it was, it was what you wanted to do with a group of guys going hunting, uh, party, party scores of four. So, oh, I see. I'm supposed to put, I'm supposed to put these over here at 3.75. And so the total score, which is now our top, uh, because I didn't have the epic trip, I didn't have the epic trip um, in the Puget Sound recorded. It wasn't officially um, two dudes and a gun yet, uh, so that one doesn't count. So this is now number one. I think I'm going to put them on the ranking, rank them too. So the average is a uh, so average three seven. That is an A. That's awesome. So uh, that's it. Uh, Big D signing out two dudes and a gun and uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Take care.